Previously on Two Up and Overloaded, we took a ferry from the island of Java, Indonesia to the dense jungle island of Borneo. We're in Borneo! Ah! Famous for its orangutans and other rainforest wildlife, along with indigenous tribes, this island is unlike anything we had experienced in Java. The island of Borneo is truly wild. We headed off the ship on our motorcycle, Dorco, we yep. named it, into the port city of Kumai. Yeah, we've started off by taking a wrong turn. <laughs> As always. Got off, took a right, <laughs> reached some gates, and everybody's pointing the other way, and we're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Marissa had plugged in a little hotel. A hotel that was really close, like two blocks away. We were right there at the hotel, Hotel Bam. Majid. Okay, we found a hotel right away. It's pretty nice. We got settled into the hotel and immediately wanted to go explore the town of Kumai. But this seems to be a good option. <laughs> Found some food, fried noodles oh, at a little shop. Favorite part is that there's all these little kittens everywhere. Yeah. All these little cats, and they all got their little crooked, oh crazy tails. But each and every one of them are sweeter than the previous one. That was quite the narrow cat. Huh? So I think we have to go to like one of these. And the crooked tails are not because they've been broken or no. bent or run over by cars or anything. They were bred like that. Yep. So this is the Indonesian cat. But super the, sweet. Super sweet. But <laughs> their yeah, the tails are just. It's so crazy. Tim, the cat whisperer. <laughs> but the weirdest thing was not the cats and their tails. It was the sound of these birds. There's lots and lots of birds just chattering everywhere. That's amazing. Just so loud, like heavy yeah. metal birds. A heavy metal you know, birds. Just insane. I mean, we can hear it from the ship. So many birds. That was yeah. one of the first things I noticed right when the ship docked. I was like, oh, it's and so many birds here. You look up though, and there's not all that many birds. There's there's some, there's some birds, yeah. but it's not like, wow, that's that amount of birds. They're so loud. Yeah. But then you started to think, maybe like it's not real. There's, there's, there's just, it's not even that it sounded artificial, it's just that there's no way in <laughs> physics that these birds could be making that loud of a sound from that far away. And then I see like all these like little square boxes everywhere in the directions of where the sounds are, and I'm like, those gotta be speakers, you know? Speakers? And he told me this and I'm like, no way. Yeah. I'm like, either it's fake or there's bird karaoke going on. <laughs> So this was turning out to be a huge mystery of what in the world is going yeah. on. Why are there these bird calls? It did make sense why there's so many cats though, because they're like, this is <laughs> plentiful, so many birds. plentiful food for all. <laughs> Hey everyone, nice to have you here. We are Tim and Marissa No Tear. I ride in the front and I'm in the rear. We travel the world and we pack too much gear. Oh, all the places, places we'll go. go through rain and through sleet and through mud and through snow. Oh, all the, the things, things we'll see. see. We've been to a country or two or three. Oh, all the, the fun, fun we've, we've had. had. You have you along would make us real glad. So give us a like and, and hit subscribe to. Join us along our epic ride. Those are definitely okay, so Tim thinks he sees speakers and that these bird sounds are fake. And they're just on these speakers. But why? And then the other question is, what's up with all these big concrete buildings that have these tiny little holes in them? Like, what's the point of these buildings. No one's living in them. Hello. Check them out. Nasi Goreng. At the Nasi Goreng place where yeah. we were having lunch, we 
tried through Google Translate to talk to the guy there about what is going on with all these bird sounds. And he confirmed that Tim was right. I nailed it. But to be fun, to be fair, <laughs> using Google Translate for something as odd as this was was yeah, awesome because I was it's very like suspicious. this. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so it's like, why do you? Why are there all the fake birds? And you know, it's like, oh, for the bird nests, made a yeah, spit. Yeah, he's like spit. Yeah, spit. And we're like spit. spit. I'm like something is not yeah. translating. Well. <laughs> So we dug in a little bit and did some research and it turns out that he was right. They have these speakers that are blasting these bird noises in order to attract a certain type of bird to these big concrete buildings to build their nests, which are made out of spit, so that they can sell them to the Chinese for very high prices. To eat! All right, so all of these buildings without windows and then these ones way over here as well. We were walking down the street and all you hear is these loud birds. It sounded very nice and natural like we're on a jungle cruise. But I thought something was fishy because the noise is just too loud. But there's these little tiny speakers about the size of GoPros. And it's to admit uh, a bird, a, a small bird's tweet, if you will. So it attracts the adult birds that make nests out of their own spit. That is a delicacy in like China. And it has some good, it, it does get rid of some bacteria, I suppose, but absolutely maddening. We're in like birdhouse city of spit nests. <laughs> so these birds are Swifties, and that is not Taylor Swift fans. Those are a type of swallow that make these special little nests out of their spit. They are only found in this particular region of the world and they do build these concrete buildings in order to attract the Swifties to them to make their nests. The Chinese in particular love eating these nests because they say they have medicinal properties such as improving fertility, energy levels, and overall health. They say they're good for respiratory problems and of course it's related to prosperity and longevity. A little bit weirder, but these are own. Uh, yes. Eating spit is a lot better than some other stuff, you know. That's right. So spit away. <laughs> These nests are expensive. On average, they go for $2,600 a kilogram, but can be sold for as much as $7,400 a kilogram. If it's good spit, that's what that <laughs> It's like, this is some $7,000 spit right here. Don't mess around. In Malaysia alone, an estimated 30,000 swiftlet houses contribute to $400 million to the national economy. The next day, we woke up at the hotel and had breakfast and met some other tourists, yeah. other travelers from around the world. I think who, it was from New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. And he was, he was telling us about, uh, it was him and his son, and he was telling us about how they just got back from like this jungle cruise, which Marissa and I were very, very aware of, but we were also equally aware of how much that cost. And mm -hmm. it was kind of out of our, our price range. But the stories he was telling about seeing these wild orangutans yeah. in the rainforest, in the national park that you can only get to by boat and sleeping on the boat on the river, it sounded so fantastic. Yeah. So that morning we decided to go off to the docks, which were right down the block, and just check out these houseboats, figure, see what the prices were. Marissa just did that. Yeah. yeah, let's go window <laughs> shopping for your, your Gucci purse. Okay, so we are at the dock where the boats leave to go to the national park with the orangutans. Um, we're just kind of here looking for information on different tours and different boats that we could take. Uh, I haven't found anyone yet who can give us information, but it is kind of cool to see behind me over there, there are some of these houseboats that you take to go along the river that goes into the jungle. There's no roads. You have to take a boat if you're gonna go into the jungle to see the orangutans, which is pretty cool. But we, we walk down to the docks and we see these big old, you know, like, they look like pirate ships, some of them. Yeah, you know? it was really cool, all made out of wood. Yeah. And we decided that we were going to splurge. splurge and do a jungle cruise. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Crazy change of plans. 
we are like in 20 minutes going to jump on a houseboat that's going to take us up the river into the jungle of Borneo to see orangutans. This was like a crazy last minute decision. We met a bunch of other people who'd done this tour and said, look, you're here. You have to. It is a magical, amazing experience. And my birthday's coming up and it is a bit of a splurge, but we decided that it's going to be worth it. And I'm so, so excited to show you everything that's going to happen in the next two days. Two days in the jungle. We are going on this boat. We are going to be living on the boat and going up the river through the jungle to see orangutans and all the other incredible animals out there, including the proboscis monkey. So we're excited. <laughs> Hopefully Dwayne The Rock Johnson is not our tour guide. <laughs> It was all arranged by Lisa, who was the wife of Majid from yeah. the hotel that we were at, Hotel Majid. And they have a whole operation of going into the jungle on these houseboats. And then my this hotel. Yeah, this is new boat. And that's an old boat. Yeah, this guess. is the old one, yeah. And the other one. Wow, that one looks like, like a pirate boat. Yeah, still uh, change the color. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to Borneo and welcome to Kumai and welcome yeah. to our boat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Very nice. It was really cool that it was kind of locally operated and locally run and with the houseboat comes a whole crew of people. I mean, we yeah, had this staff. boat all to ourselves. The whole upper deck was uh, yeah. Marissa and I and then down yeah. below was... Uh, it was the crew. I am Yanni. Yanni? Yes. Jim. A cook and the boat. Nice. 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 There were two crew okay. members one cook and one personal guide and, and who the, the, the the kid yeah well they were brothers no, and yeah. the other guy was basically they'd switch roles sometimes the one that would grab onto plants no, to yeah, move the so boat around coming up. you might be confused now <laughs> it'll make sense later yeah. on <laughs> thank you so much Lisa. you're welcome this is pretty cool this usually so i'm cool. not like this is cool you guys know me right but this is pretty cool this is like what fancy British people used to do in like the 50s. <laughs> but this is like, we have the whole boat to ourselves and we're just gonna be going into the jungle. It's not a motorcycle thing. It's something totally different for us. Motorboat thing. I'm so excited. I can't even express how excited I am for this. I mean, it's been a dream of mine to come to Borneo for so long. My father had been here ages ago before I was ever born and tells these stories about the jungles of Borneo. So, oh, this is like, whew, my heart is like pounding. I'm just so, so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Yay, we're gonna leave in just a few minutes. So we get on this boat, we're so excited. There's like this giant bed up on the deck. Wing there's size. Like, yeah, a table with chairs. And then there's chairs at the front to kind of like overlook as you start going down the river. And we headed off I was so to the jungle. So this is the main big bay. I'm sure it's very brackish water. This is the same kind of river system that we came in on on the big ship, that big ferry. But at some point in time, we're going to head inland on a smaller river and the first camp that we're going to is Camp Tanjung Paraban and apparently they have an orangutan feeding at 3 p.m. so we should be there in about an hour and a half or so. That looks silly doesn't it? But it's raining a little bit so I kind of want to keep my hat on. Um, it looks like this whole river is flooded because these trees are like just buried within the water. They're very cool. They look like palm fronds sticking up into the river. Very awesome. this like luxury top deck with this our own little 
private bed. Most beds we sleep in are private, which is nice. <laughs> not the one on not the ferry. Not the one on the ferry. <laughs> but uh, a huge shout out to uh, Temple Amoto for letting us do, you know, splurge on things like this. It was an amazing experience. It was absolutely luxury. We're doing something incredible. It wasn't on a motorcycle, but they still have our back to make sure that we're comfortable while we're experiencing the world. And that's exactly what they, they do in the States. And now in Europe, they, they help you explore the world on these amazing roads, on, yeah, on big bikes. Yeah, on the bikes. USA and Mexico as well. So thank you so much, Temple of Moto. They give motorcycle tours all over the US, Europe, and Mexico as well. Check them out at templeofmoto.com. So as we're going along the river, we turn down a much smaller yeah. tribute. And this was going to be entering Tanjung Puting National Park. And there's this giant like statue of a bronze orangutan. Like yeah. you're into like King Kong, you know, like there should have been like these big gates. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, I, was, I didn't know they were that big. <laughs> you know? In fact, orangutans are the only great apes of all of Asia and they are massive. So we were just so excited, just salivating to get into oh, this park. Oh, salivating. <laughs> then we make some nests. <laughs> <laughs> so just saying. They served us this awesome yeah. meal. Wow, that fried chicken you said was this some is of the best This is my favorite we've had on Borneo had. so far. I felt like we were on Jungle Cruise with, you know, the, the rock was going to come up. And yeah. Like, we're going to explore some treasure. And I'm like, heck yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, totally. You know, there's always that like nervous edge of like, I don't know, was this worth it or not? And it, was, it was expensive. It was like 500 US dollars. Yeah. And it was for two days, one night. Yeah. I was feeling the vibes right there that it was definitely going to be awesome. I was super excited. You know, part of the whole thing is, you know, if it rains or not can totally right. be a factor of how awesome your experience yeah, is. Yeah, and these are wild orangutans. There's no guarantee you're gonna see anything yeah. out there. Finally, we see these other houseboats in the distance and we pull up next to them and this is going to be the first yeah. research station that we stop at. We were gonna stop at three research stations on this trip and the first one where they were going to have an orangutan eating. Yeah, it was like a little pirate ship dock. It was yes. everybody, you know, unloading their treasures, their booty, their bounty. Yeah, we were excited to see what the treasures actually were. Hopefully the orangutans. So we stepped off the boat and into the jungle. And that will all be in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Ding, ding. And if you like Patreon and you want to support us, then please check it out. You can sign up to our Patreon page for as little as a dollar a month. And we are so thankful to all of our patrons out there who yeah. make something like this come true and we for try us. to give a little couple bonuses we you yeah. know pre-release our videos uh they're ad free you know we do you know a couple exclusive videos there for for our patrons as well as well as some postcards from random places around the world yeah. so please so, do check it out for as little as a buck a month you can help us uh hopefully potentially feed some orango tanks mm -hmm. So check it out at Patreon slash 2 up and Overloaded. And thank you so much for watching this video. We'll be seeing you next time. Peace, everybody. Bye. We, we go around the world learning different facts <laughs> everywhere. We like all different cultures. But there's some weird stuff out there. Like there eating is. bird spit, uh, you know. Well, uh, we eat all sorts of things in this world. So Like beets and stuff. It's like, that's good <laughs> carrots. They're good for your eyes. Okay, let's do this made up. But at least it's not like, we'll eat the bird spit. <laughs> and then you'll have a boy. You know, it's just a little... <laughs> A little bit weirder. <laughs> I just think it's weird that the spit's made from swallows. Oh! <laughs>